Hi, this is a lecture taken from my online course about the Apache Spark certification, which is offered by Databricks. It handles one of the topics that you need to understand in order to get certified. So check it out. When you are working with a large amount of data, the probability of having null values in some columns is quite high. Apache Spark provides a couple of functions that we can use to handle null values properly. Because in Apache Spark, and like any other programming language, null values must be handled using special logic. Let's see how to handle null values in Apache Spark. For that purpose, I created a new data frame called data frame with nulls, where I select a couple of columns from the customer data frame in which there are a large amount of null values. Down here, I display the DFN data frame, and you can see that we have in the salutation column, also in the last name and the email address. In almost all this column, we have a large amount of null values. And if you decide that you don't want to have a column where there are null values, you can filter that. And to do that, we can apply also the where function or the filter function. We do the following. First, let's count the number of records that we have in the original DFN data frame. You can see that we have 100,000 records in the DFN data frame. If you now go ahead and do the following, let's say DFN dot where. Now we can specify a column object also, and we say that we don't want the salutation should not be equal to null. To do that, we can then use is null or is not null. When we apply is not null, Apache Spark will filter the DFN data frame and remove all the rows where the salutation is null. So let me put a display right in front of it so that we can directly see the result of the filtering. Cannot resolve salutation. All right. DFN salutation. Ha, huh, of course. That was the mistake. And now you can see we have no salutation where the value is null. We can also count how many records the resulting data frame then has. You can just do something like this, count, and the number should be less than 100,000. And this is it. This is because we remove all the records where the salutation columns contain null values. We can also go ahead and just say returns all the records where the value is null. And you can see, you can sort here like you want all the value in this column will also will always be null. If you do not use the is null operation here, then the filtering will not work. Let me show you what I mean by that. If you do something like this, dot where salutation, let's say equal null and execute that. Let's say dot count. It returns zero. So Apache Spark cannot find a column where the value of the salutation column is null, which is not true because if you use this expression and say dot count, you can see that it clearly returns the number of records where the salutation column contains null value. So to filter for null values, use is null or is not null. 
If you enjoyed this video, I think you will also like the entire course. The course covers all the topics you need to pass the exam, such as understanding the basic of the Apache Spark architecture, how to manipulate columns in a data frame, how to filter columns or rows from a data frame. It also covers how to work with user defined function and Spark SQL functions. The course contains over four and a half hours of video, and you will also get a Databricks notebook that you can import directly into a Databricks workspace to easily follow all the instruction and all the code exercise. It also contains more than 40 quizzes that will help you prepare for the exam. So use the link in the description below to join the course and get certified. Thank you.